Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on mixed integration. And what we've got here is an example the integral of 5x minus 4 over x cubed with respect to x. So you might like to uh, just pause the video, have a go, and come back when ready and check out your solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Now there's several ways that you could do something like this. One way is to see that you've got two terms on the top divided by a single term on the bottom. And When you've got a single term on the bottom you can divide it into each of the terms on the top. So in other words you could change this to the integral of 5x over x cubed minus 4 over x cubed. And don't forget we've got a couple of terms here so we need to put that in brackets and integrate with respect to x. And then we could simplify each of these two terms. The first one, 5x over x cubed, all you need to do is subtract the powers because you're doing division here. So we've got x to the power 1 divided by x to the power 3. So if you subtract the powers, 1 take away the 3 gives us minus 2. So you end up with 5x to the power minus 2. And for this one, this is 4 times 1 over x cubed. And we can then bring this x cubed up to the top and that would be x to the power minus 3. So you've got minus 4 multiplied by x to the power minus 3. And again, put that in brackets and integrate with respect to x. Now I did say that there are several ways that you could do this part. Okay, The other way some of you might want to do is this that instead of dividing x cubed into each of these two terms here, you can think of 5x minus 4 over x cubed as being the same as 5x minus 4 being multiplied by 1 over x cubed, which is the same as x to the power minus 3. So then all you do is you multiply each of the terms in the bracket by x to the power minus 3. So that 5x times x to the minus 3, you'd add the powers because you're multiplying. So you've got x to the power 1 multiplied by x to the power minus 3, add the powers and you get 5x to the power minus 2. And then for this one, minus 4 times x to the power minus 3 gives you minus 4x to the power minus 3. So either way, you're going to come down to doing exactly the same thing here. So leave it up to you, whatever method you feel happy with. But when we get to this stage now, all we need to do is integrate each term in the usual way where we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So for this first term we add 1 to the power, so we get x to the power minus 1 and divide by that new power. And then for this next term, we've got minus 4, add 1 to the power, so it's x to the power minus 2, and divide by that new power, minus 2. And don't forget the constant of integration, plus c. We just need to tidy this up now. 5 divided by minus 1 is minus 5, and we're multiplying it by x to the power minus 1, which is 1 over x. 5 times 1 over x is going to give me 5 over x. Here we've got minus 4 divided by minus 2. Well, that's going to be plus 2. And it's being multiplied by x to the power minus 2. x to the power minus 2 is 1 over x squared. 2 times 1 over x squared is going to be 2 over x squared. And then plus c. And you could leave it like that. Or you could say, well, OK, I've got a positive term here, negative term here, switch the two terms around. And then you've got 2 over x squared minus 5 over x plus c. Or you could put it over a lowest common multiple of x squared and x, which would be x squared. If you did that, then you could put your x squared there and you're going to have 2 minus and then you've got to multiply top and bottom here by an x to put it over x squared. So that's going to be minus 5x and then plus c. So that's another alternative version. 
Anyway, that brings us to the end of this particular example, so I hope you found that of some use. As I say, there'll be more examples on my website if you were to look under mixed integration examples. Okay?